Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. So today, this is a, a hoarding job. Um, That's why the street rock is just completely... Oh. Yeah. Oh. It is every hazardous, it's our worst nightmare. Because when you're trying to scoop, obviously it'll always catch up and it just slows down the process every time. Uh, so today, this is a, a hoarding job, um, and on the scale of hoarding, this would be considered a level five hoard. Um, a little bit of the backstory is uh, a woman was rescued out of here um, by the fire department, um, and the fire department said actually that this was one of the worst hoarding situations um, that they had seen. Um, so today, we're here working, trying to get started, um, just getting the front door open, um, because as of right now, you can't even open the front door. Um, but it's it's pretty unimaginable. There's areas throughout the house that don't have any ceiling. Um, the client actually had outdoor table umbrellas that they put up um, to keep the rain off of them when it rained, because there's just there's no ceilings um, throughout the majority of the house. Uh, so I think this job is probably going to take us about four or five days with a crew of uh, four to five people. Um, so just because it's a lot of just because of the elements um everything is pretty weighed down and pretty heavy from years of just wet and trash and whatnot um so it's a lot of labor getting everything out of the house we're here um because the last time we were here you couldn't see that light from the other side um and right now they're working to get the front door open so that we can go in and out of the front door um but there's trash in the way so they're having to shovel it out from the inside and the outside um, in order to get the front door open. I wanna get the bigger items and all that stuff. Stuff like that will just throw the bag. That's what it's on. Okay. Did she say, um, did she say if she used this car or was it just sitting uh, in the car? The car had, the car was here for a couple of years. It has no power. It's not running. So that's why we're trying to get it cleaned out so we can get it out of the driveway mm -hmm. to get the trailer into the driveway. There's roaches, flies, all kinds of stuff. Okay. So you can see it's just like from years of exposure to the elements. Everything is just, it's like wet and molded. So it's really taking a lot of time because it's pretty heavy. And this one behind you, if you already got a lift. I don't know how heavy that one is. Let me start putting uh, that wall right there. See where the paneling is peeling off? Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, the paneling is peeling off, and it actually looks like if you look up at the top next to the, where it meets the, the roof line, it, actually the wall is. Starting to come this way because the sheetrock is just completely rotted. Mm. Is that gonna 
Is that going to play like a safety concern? Yeah, so, you know, in situations like this, um, that's kind of why the first day is about going in and like clearing out pathways uh, so that we can get a better look at it uh, and make sure structurally everything is okay uh, to have techs in here working and whatnot. Yeah, absolutely. That like that's number one uh, on all of our jobs. Everything that we do is is the, the hazard assessment um, and making sure that we have everything documented, just so we can keep ourselves safe while we're working in these environments. Right. Um, you know, because as much as we want to help people out, the number one thing is is always safety. So we want to keep that as a trophy. Uh, well, thank you. Legendary. Yeah. First day, <laughs> yeah, he should be okay. He should be all right. I, just, I hope he comes back. Yeah, he had a call on the roof box, so maybe he's doing. Yeah. So the goal is just the, like this area right here for today. Yeah, we're we try to basically find a spot, uh, a stopping spot, because we don't want to basically make one hole here and then go into the next room and make one hole. We just basically want to make little cutout squares to where we go. So you can stand, you can work with it, and you know, two people can easily work side by side on working and getting it all out. I'm gonna take a look if you guys want. Hard to stay on. Um, yeah, we made a quite a lot of progress. It's like, if it was here for, if you seen the start, we couldn't even get in the door. We barely had the door open and now we have all of this almost done, like half of it. We just have a little bit there to go. So we made progress throughout the day. We got like a, another lo truckload waiting outside. So it was kind of a successful day, you know, for mm -hmm. the first day, so. Yeah. Are you sure there's nothing in there? Get it all on the glass, put it, put it standing up, I guess, because I don't want that glass to break and have some crap on it. Just stand it up. Stand it up, yeah. Like you that. Sure? Yeah, we're going to put trash in the back of it. I don't want that glass breaking and being all over the back of it. Yeah, the one in the, near the airport closes at like 4.30? And it's so two of those bags is a hundred. How many? Hundred and fifty. How many boxes have you gone through? We've probably gone through about I say three or four. So that's a hundred, or that's fifty times four. Two hundred bags. Oh, do you want that? Another bookcase that, you know, when I went to move it to, to clear some room, it just completely fell apart. So it's got old cookbooks and stuff in it. Um, so, yeah. Again, the, just the elements are destroying everything. So, yeah. it's sad. bar. <sighs> Is it just those two bins? Yeah, and with the uh, other stuff that's... You know, what, were, uh, what were in those bins? Um, it was just items that she wanted to keep out of the couple things uh, that we were able to salvage. So it was just we're just boxing them up for her and we're going to take them back to our warehouse and store them there for the time being. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, so uh, it's pretty pretty slow going. Uh, as we discovered, starting to go through stuff. Everything's pretty pretty wet and pretty. This has been exposed to the elements, um, so it's really heavy stuff and a lot of hard work to get it out of there. Um, so we've pretty much cleared about halfway of the front room, um, and I also worked with the the client to clear a pathway in the rear of the home just to help us get in, in and out uh, a little bit easier uh, and take a survey of what else we have to do. So tomorrow.
will definitely be starting to clear out the garage area and the remaining area in the front room and just keep chipping away at it. Yeah, so today we're going to focus on finishing out, the, clearing out the rest of the, the front uh, part of the house. Um, and then just kind of, we have uh, two, uh, four people here today, so we're going to be able to divide up and just kind of fan out from that way, start clearing out the kitchen. Uh, there's a back hallway that is leading to um, the bedrooms that are back there that's um, pretty full of stuff uh, so we're gonna have to get uh, through that area first before we can continue on to those back bedrooms so yeah today will just be clearing out as much as we can and keep chipping away at it is there something uh, in particular you're looking for no it's, uh the, the homeowner and her husband were big into music so i'm just looking to see if there's any kind of Anything that's worth saving. There's like a bunch of sheet music and uh, programs from shows and whatnot. So just trying to go through everything to see if anything is something the family would want. Okay. But I don't think it's it's not salvageable. So yeah. First room down. is actually looking for a certain key or so, which we found a lanyard. You want to show the lanyard, Dobby? The lanyard? That lanyard, she said that there's a key to it, so we're basically going by hand and going to try and find this key for the whole, whole thing. She said that it's definitely there. Mm -hmm. So we're, that is what we're doing now. Light stuff could be anything from flour, could be mold. Actually, it looks like mold because you can see the spory going on over there. Mm. Is that a little trouble? Yeah, I was looking for the key. The key, but there's nothing here. Yeah. Oh. He's asking for like four times for that. Oh. oh my god. Yeah. 
waffle to pop it. Well, I was probably 15 yeah. years old. The lack of taste. You said just put it in? Yeah, just put it in. Give me the shovel? Yes, just put it in. That's the right. Right here, right here. I'll have the shovel right here. Okay, I'm coming right now. Chelsea, I'll do it. I'm coming right now. Get a shovel there. Yeah, I have to hold my bag. Hold up. Just hold the bag open. I see, uh, I see how you're strategically hanging all these lights. Pardon me? I see how you're like hanging up all these lights. It's very, yeah, look, very so, nice. So you can see better. Yeah. If I put it like from the floor to up, we don't see good. So this way, we can be careful because can have snakes, uh, all kind of animals. So yeah, yeah. that was smart. Oh my god! Yeah. Okay, let's take it back. So, uh, yeah. what are you gonna tackle in the meantime? Say that again. What are you gonna tackle in the meantime? Okay. Like, what are you gonna do in the meantime? And, uh, are they going to change it? Yeah. How about we clean up over here? It's too much of a small hallway. If you want to get a it's too small of a hallway for three people to basically fit inside of that to where the refrigerator is. So basically those two are working and I'll work around here and turn that this one up. Yeah. You can talk because I know y'all hate me talking all the time. No, that's not true. Y'all did. Y'all confused me because at one time I was silent you were like, David, you got to say something. I'm sitting there no, like, no, no, I remember I that. Right. You did. <laughs> And basically, normally the perishables are pretty good to save, but I deemed this whole closet. Obviously, as you can see, that I could barely even touch it. Yeah. That it's just all the way rusted through. The floor is here. As you can see, the door is it's done. It's toast. I should probably just knock it down. Put Put in one little wood in the back and scoop it all up in. Throw it on its way. Yeah, uh, all this is basically all in one. Show them that little cabinet that it came from in the pantry. So, all this, that's all down there, came from that pantry over there on the right. No kidding. Uh, yeah, I figured it as much. So, so yeah, there's no point in cleaning and no. keeping all that because you, it's $200 for a new fridge. Yeah. Obviously, the only things that we would do is just take off all the memorabilia, all the pictures and things of that sort. Yeah. But yeah. We don't have a bunch of them. Right. Yeah, he's, he's looking. Yeah, he's looking. Up. You're taking out all the big stuff and just yeah no 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 that's just boxes okay because uh, probably right here it was a place she didn't come t didn't use it it was her husband place where oh, okay. could uh, load the the machine bullets mm -hmm. so probably she put all the trash all the boxes right here so I'm trying to put all the box out so we can start looking for good stuff it makes sense okay yeah everything that's out here yeah. that's out. Huh? That's it? Yeah, let's you want me to get this section? Oh, it's almost four. Oh, okay. I guess we're wrapping up over here. It is quitting time. We just like to make a good bit. If you want to look at there, you can. We're just working our way back towards from where we started out in the living room. Now we're in the back of the house. 
And we're trying to basically meet in the middle where you caught off with me last time I was in the kitchen. Pretty much got all that knocked out. And then we go on to the bedrooms probably as early as tomorrow. Maybe. Probably the day after, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, so today we cleared out one whole room on the front part of the house. So that was a, a huge improvement. Um, and we've made some good progress in the back of the house cleaning that stuff out. So tomorrow we'll just be continuing to go through the kitchen and uh, back room so we can make a good push to get to the back bedrooms. Oh yeah, this is day three by the way. Just yeah. so you guys are catching up to what we're doing here. So obviously y'all have gone over there and y'all seen the front that we've knocked all that out and where you I left off with y'all I told you, you know, we're going on the, to the kitchen or so. Um, this is the back of the house if he wants to show basically the back of the yard and all that stuff. So we're going forward and compacting all the stuff and basically getting it on out of here. Kitchen is pretty much knocked out. I worked on that yesterday. All that we really have left is I think it's a three bedroom. Uh, let's see if you can peek. Uh, not so much. But there's three bedrooms on the back side of the house and stuff like that on the other side. And then one hallway. And we're making pretty good time because we wanted to be done by Saturday. And that is our biggest goal and stuff like that. So. For a siding, for a scope. I'm good, I'm good. I think I saw the scope earlier. This is traumatizing. <laughs> So what have, uh, what have you been finding so far? Is it just like loose stuff like that or is it like big metal stuff? Well, it, everything is loose. Uh, just, just like yeah, these pieces of paper and stuff like that. Yeah. Just loose uh, debris like this. It's, this is the worst I've ever seen in my life. The fact that somebody lived here is just amazing. Yeah. Well, I didn't do it, but six pads back already. Because you can't even walk through this. Like, get, get that, get that right there. Yeah, no, this we, is... We have to clean the walk through like that. Mm-hmm. Whew! Oh. Nothing in the empty shelf. What, you say that again? Nothing in the empty shelf. Okay. I don't want this to be. Yeah, I'll just put that up there because I put all the metal over there because it separates the waves down the bags. I want to show you the visual thing over there if I just get a hand. Yeah, you put all these inside here. Oh no, I know. It is. We'll move all this stuff. Do you want to do that? No, you, you can use it. I just can't. Because it ain't one wheel there. You sure? Yeah. Sure. So would you like to work it harder than you need to? Is that pretty much all the trash back there? Or is there still a couple more trash bags this year? Just a couple more. I'll okay. kind of go ahead and load it up so he can go ahead and pull off with it. Okay. <laughs> We'll come and show you all our worst nightmare. Come, come over here with us. This tassel tongue and groove rug is every hazardous, it's our worst nightmare. Because when you're trying to scoop, 
obviously it'll always catch up and it just slows down the process every time hmm. just a little inside of you know what we do and stuff like that technicians it's our worst nightmare <laughs> that and cords obviously because you have to trip wherever it goes but that's all part of you know what we do yeah uh, uh, do you want to do be, be careful of all those cords in the near the water uh most of these extensive cords are totally poor though as long as there's no shards into it and stuff like that, it's fine. Hey guys, so we had to cut filming on days three and four. Our client was okay with us filming the job, but she didn't want to be in the video herself. So in best accordance with her wishes, we decided not to film on those days. We have some great after video, however, for you. So here it is. Okay, all in all, we were able to get everything out of this house. Uh, it took about six days with the crew each day of four to five people. Um, and at the end, we took out about uh, 15 dumpsters worth of trash, so between 18 and 20 tons total of trash from this house. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations. That's it, guys. On to the next.